How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the HP Omen 15 2019 laptop, as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 10 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place your laptop face down. Prepare a PH00 bit and remove all 8 screws from the case. Prepare a triangular pry tool and start from the corners to gently pry open the edges. Use the pry bar in conjunction with the triangular pry tool to open the gaps and lift the bottom cover. Use a PH0 bit to remove the four screws from the battery and then remove the battery. After removing the battery, remember to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use a pry bar to remove the left side's hard drive cable. and take out the hard drive enclosure and the anti-static tape. Moving to the right side fan, use a PH0 bit to remove the seven visible screws to take off the metal bracket. The same goes for the left side fan, but be mindful of one screw covered by the cable. After removing the metal bracket, use a pry bar to push outwards from both sides to detach the cables, exposing the hidden screw. Use the pry bar to disconnect the fan's power cable. After removing the power cable from the right side fan, take out the nearby screw. Go to the central heat sink and sequentially remove 8 screws, following a diagonal pattern. When removing screws, choose a high quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo E01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Finally, remove the right side solid state drive to lift the entire cooling module. To avoid bending the heat sink, gently apply force from both sides to lift it. Next, clean off the dried thermal paste from the cooling module. 
To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use an anti-static brush and compressed air to remove dust from the cooling module, fan, and backplate, including the dust left in the cooling module's exhaust port. When using compressed air, keep a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Don't forget to clean the dust off the metal brackets as well. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold to 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, reattach the cooling module, being careful not to pinch any cables, and screw back the 8 middle screws in a diagonal order. It is recommended to tighten the 7 screws to 60 to 70% first, and after all are in place, tighten them in sequence to avoid excessive stress. Reconnect the right side fan's power cable. Screw in the nearby screw. Cover with the metal bracket. And screw back the seven screws. For the left side fan, screw back the screw under the cable first. Reconnect the fan's power cable. Cover with the bracket, ensuring the cable's position. And screw back the seven screws. Reinstall the cable. Reinstall the hard drive enclosure, if it's inconvenient, you can disassemble and then reassemble it. Plug in the solid state drive, cover with the anti-static tape, Reinstall the battery, and screw back the four screws. Check to see if the startup is normal, and then you can cover the bottom. And screw back the eight screws to complete the job. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.